This is what matters to Ken Oletta. He's the author of Google, The End of Transparency, uh, as we know it. I'm making a joke, of course, across of his iconic book on Google. But you know Google. I'm going to suggest you know these other companies as well. What is your mandate to them to have increased transparency, given what we've seen in well, Washington? Well, I mean, one of the things, we know the public is concerned about privacy as it relates to to Google and, and Facebook and all these companies that are collecting all this data, what are they going to do with it? And, and we know that engineers love to massage data and, and figure out all the things that data, the secrets that data can yield to them. And that's very legitimate. On the other hand, the public says, are you sharing my information? If I go on an employment interview five years from now, are they going to be able to access my Facebook? information. That's a real concern. The same is true uh, today in terms of the government. So Google, Google and Facebook and Twitter and all right. these companies know that people are concerned about their privacy and, and, and suddenly the government, it's out there alleged that the right. government, they're sharing all this information with the government. George, what are you George Orwell's book 1984 has sold well in the last week. Is it 1984? Well, it's 1980, technology is 1984 in that we have the capacity to learn so much and to follow you with cameras or what your, your phone calls, your emails, et cetera. Now, whether that is being abused as it was in Orwell's book mm. is, is the question. And, and that's the reason for transparency. We don't know enough about what is the government actually collecting. What are they collecting from Google? We don't know that. And one of the concerns that the Googles and these tech companies have is that their brand it, it, it value is being diminished by this because if people right. are concerned that, that what are you sharing Google and Google wants to be able well, to answer that but there's security questions. We're, we're trying to do no evil here. Does the government tell Silicon Valley what to do or does Silicon Valley take a creative initiative here? Well there's a law to follow. The law says. That's what that, they would say absolutely. The government is saying that the law says you must turn this information over to us if, if a judge orders that you do and that's what they're complying with but now they're increasingly resisting that and saying, hey, what's going on here? There was an amazing fact in the Financial Times yesterday. Please. And it said that in 30 years, of the thousands of requests made by, to the judge, judges who, who approved these, only 11 government requests have been rejected. So th that's a question then, is there a real check and balance here?